explain us. It was saying that God is a sustaining God. That no matter how big the wilderness is, no matter how deep the valley is, how high the mountain is, I'm able to bless you day by day. And I need you to trust me. Come on, I need you to trust me. Everybody say, Lord, I trust you. If you trust him, stop worrying so much. Stop trying to fix everything. And trust God. Stop not being saved. When you know God, when you have been born again, walk out side of that all oh, the beauty and walk past that and to trust walk into the trust walk into the I believe God walk into the God's going to make a way for me quit trying to work it out and use God only as some kind of healing bomb alright I better settle down here they had three things in there, right? Then they had Aaron's rod that what? Budded. What he had, he had a rod that had been cut down. It was the rod they had used to battle with the Pharisees. It was a dead rod. It was almost like a cane. I wish I had thought about it. I would have brought my cane out here. Like a cane, dead, cut down. But when God started dealing with that thing, that rod that was cut down, it budded. It grew leaves. It grew. It budded. What that was saying is, is that God has, and they kept it in this ark because they wanted to say that God is a life giver. That he's able to bring life from the what? Dead. You think you can't make it no farther? Honey, yes you can because God's a life giver. You think that you have done the worst thing possible? That you're going to die here? You ought to know that he is a what? Life giver. He's going across the land and he's just, just blowing on things. He's blowing on it that it might get life in it. That it might have uh, spirit in it. It is the reality that you think you can't do it. You think the marriage is destroyed. You think the job is done. You think you're not going any further. You need to turn around and look at God because he is the ultimate life giver. You think you ain't going to never make it? This is as far as I'm going to go. This is all I'm going to have. This is my plight in life. You need to recognize that God is a life giver. He takes that that is dead. <laughs> Come on now. He takes that that's dead and what brings it back to life.